The USA just shocked the world with what they're building. While the media drowns you in political noise, America is quietly constructing a technological empire, one that could dominate the next century. And what's wild? Most of it is already real. This isn't about innovation. It's about control. Because if the US wins this race, it won't just change technology, it'll change power itself. Today, I'll reveal nine mega projects shaping that power and why they matter more than any election headline. SpaceX just broke every rule about space exploration and the numbers will make your head spin. 139 rocket launches in 2025. That's not a typo. 139 launches from a single company in one year. That's more than entire countries achieve in a decade. But here's where it gets absolutely insane. SpaceX now controls 83% of all global orbital launches worldwide. Not American launches, global launches. That means out of every 100 rockets launched on planet Earth, 83 are SpaceX. The company is now valued at $400 billion. That's more than the GDP of 150 countries combined. To put that in perspective, that's enough to buy Netflix, Uber and Airbnb combined and still have $200 billion left over. But here's the twist that changes everything. These rockets don't just fly. They land themselves and get reused. Over 450 successful landings. Imagine if airplanes were thrown away after every flight. That's what space travel was before SpaceX. Now, rockets land vertically, get refueled, and fly again within weeks. Their Starship is the world's largest rocket ever built, over 400 feet tall. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty, including its pedestal. They've conducted 11 test flights with six successful missions. And this isn't just about size. This rocket is designed to carry 100 people to Mars. What they've built here defies everything we thought was possible. This is science fiction becoming reality at breakneck speed. But that's nothing compared to what they're building next. What I'm about to reveal will truly shock you. To tell you sounds impossible, but it's not a concept. It's not a proposal. This is happening right now. 12 people worldwide already have computer chips implanted in their brains. These aren't medical devices in the traditional sense. These are brain-computer interfaces that let paralyzed people control phones, computers, and games with nothing but their thoughts. 15,000 plus accumulated hours of usage. That means real humans are living their daily lives with chips in their brains. And it's working. They're texting friends, browsing the internet, playing video games, all without moving a muscle. Clinical trials are expanding across the USA, UK, Canada, and UAE. Neuralink's goal? 20 to 30 patients in 2025. But here's where it gets even more incredible. They're launching a speech-to-text trial for people with speech impairments. Imagine thinking words and having them spoken aloud instantly. This technology is so advanced, it makes smartphones look primitive. We're not talking about typing with your fingers. We're talking about typing with your mind at the speed of thought. Up to eight words per second, faster than most people can type on a keyboard. The implications are staggering. Paralyzed people walking again. Blind people seeing through digital eyes. Deaf people hearing through neural implants. This isn't medicine. This is human evolution accelerated by technology. But while Neuralink is upgrading human brains, another technology is replacing human drivers entirely. Waymo Robotaxis are taking over American cities, and the scale of this operation will blow your mind. 250,000 paid rides per week. That's not testing. That's not a pilot program. That's a fully operational autonomous taxi service carrying real passengers in real cities, 24-7, every single week, a quarter million people trust their lives to vehicles with no human driver. Over 100 million autonomous miles driven. These vehicles have driven the equivalent of circling Earth 4,000 times without a human driver. 
They operate in Los Angeles, Phoenix, and San Francisco around the clock, in rain, at night, through traffic that would stress experienced human drivers. The fleet? 1,500 plus vehicles, expanding to 3,500 by 2026. But here's the crazy part. Tesla's full self-driving is nine times safer than human drivers. One accident per 6.36 million miles. Human drivers, one accident every 700,000 miles. This is commercial reality, not just testing. You can open an app right now in these cities and summon a car with no driver. It arrives, takes you to your destination, and drives away, all without human intervention. The taxi industry as we know it is being dismantled in real time. And if you think autonomous cars are impressive, wait until you see what autonomous robots are doing in operating rooms. Johns Hopkins just achieved something that sounds like a nightmare. The first fully autonomous surgery performed by a robot with zero human intervention. A 17-step gallbladder operation with 100% accuracy. The robot made every incision, every suture, every movement perfectly. It's voice controlled and self-correcting. If it detects an error, it fixes itself mid-operation. No human hands touch the patient during the entire procedure. But here's what's truly remarkable. Robotic-assisted surgeries are 25% faster and have 30% fewer complications than human surgeons. The Da Vinci surgical system is already deployed in thousands of hospitals worldwide, performing millions of procedures every year. This isn't about replacing surgeons. It's about augmenting human capability with machine precision. A surgeon's hand can tremble. A robot's cannot. A human can get tired after eight hours. A robot doesn't. A human might have an off day. A robot performs with identical precision every single time. We're witnessing the birth of a new era in medicine where the steadiest hands in the operating room aren't human. Patients are already choosing robotic surgery over traditional methods because the results speak for themselves. Faster recovery, smaller incisions, fewer complications. And while robots are saving lives in hospitals, they're replacing humans in warehouses at an unprecedented scale. Amazon just deployed one million robots. That's not a future goal. That's already operational as of June 2025. 1 million machines working 24-7 across hundreds of warehouses worldwide. But here's what's truly frightening. 600,000 jobs will be replaced by 2033. Amazon's goal? 75% of all operations automated. Their Blue Jay system can pick, sort, and consolidate packages. All in one robot, no human needed. It identifies items, grabs them with precision, and moves them to the next station faster than any human could. Their Deep Fleet AI system provides a 10% efficiency boost through AI-powered traffic control for robots. Thousands of robots moving through warehouses, coordinated by artificial intelligence, never colliding, never stopping, optimizing every movement in real time. The Shreveport warehouse already operates with 25% fewer employees. Soon, 50% fewer. This is the largest deployment of industrial robots in human history. And it's happening right now. Every package you order, every delivery you receive, increasingly handled by machines, not humans. The automation revolution isn't coming. It's here. It's massive. And it's accelerating faster than anyone predicted. While you've been watching this video, Amazon's robots have sorted thousands of packages. But while Amazon automates logistics, another technology is about to revolutionize computing itself. Google's Willow chip just shattered every computing record in existence. It's 13,000 times faster than the world's most powerful supercomputers. Let that sink in. Not 13% faster. Not twice as fast. 13,000 times faster. But here's where it gets mind-bending. Harvard achieved a breakthrough the first quantum computer that runs continuously for over two hours. This system has 3,000 qubits, 
and practical quantum systems are expected in two to three years. JP Morgan and Quantinuum just deployed a 56 qubit system for cryptography. This is the first real world application, calculating molecular structures that would take classical computers millions of years to solve. What does this mean? Drug discovery accelerated by decades. Climate modeling with perfect accuracy. Financial systems that can predict market crashes before they happen. Encryption so powerful it's mathematically unbreakable. Problems that were impossible yesterday become solvable today. We're not talking about faster computers. We're talking about a fundamentally different type of computation that can solve problems classical computers never could. This is the next computing revolution, and America is leading it. But while quantum computers revolutionize calculation, drones are revolutionizing delivery. Zipline has completed over 1 million commercial drone deliveries. Not test flights, not demonstrations, commercial deliveries, real products to real customers, paid for with real money, 70 plus million autonomous flight miles. These drones have flown the equivalent of circling Earth 2,800 times. Delivery time? Under 10 minutes within a 10 mile radius. Order medicine, and it's at your door before you finish making coffee. Their P2 drones fly at 70 miles per hour and are quieter than a bird. You won't even hear them coming. They descend, release the package with precision, and ascend. All without landing. They are already active with Walmart in Arkansas and Texas, delivering everything from medicine to groceries to emergency supplies. This is proven technology in everyday use. The future of delivery. It's not trucks stuck in traffic burning fuel. It's drones flying directly to your doorstep, bypassing roads entirely, immune to traffic jams, operating in conditions that would ground human drivers. Over 1 million deliveries means over 1 million times this technology has proven itself in real-world conditions. Rain, wind, night, day. These drones deliver. The delivery industry as we know it is being disrupted in real time. But while drones deliver packages, America is building something even more strategic. Technological independence. The USA just committed $280 billion to reclaim chip manufacturing dominance. This isn't just investment. This is economic warfare. This is America declaring they will never again depend on foreign nations for the technology that powers everything. $39 billion in direct manufacturing subsidies. 25 to 50 new projects representing $160 to $200 billion in total investments. This will create 25,000 to 45,000 new jobs in advanced manufacturing. High-paying, high-skill positions that will anchor entire communities. Here's why this matters. The USA currently produces only 10% of the world's chips. The goal? Reclaim world leadership. Every smartphone, every computer, every AI system, every weapon system, every car, every medical device, all depend on chips. Lose chip production, lose everything. The CHIPS Act provides 25% investment tax credits for manufacturing equipment. This is the largest industrial policy initiative in American history since World War II. Entire cities are being transformed as massive fabrication plants rise from the ground. This isn't about technology. This is about national security. Whoever controls chip production controls the future. And America just declared they're taking it back. While other nations talk about chip independence, America is building the factories right now. But while America builds chip factories, they're also building something that looks disturbingly human. Boston Dynamics Atlas robot just achieved whole body control through a large behavior model. It moves like a human, thinks like a computer, and it's being deployed in Hyundai factories in 2025. This isn't a demonstration. This is commercial deployment. Agility's Digit robot is already operating in warehouses, sorting packages alongside humans. It walks on two legs, navigates obstacles, 
climbs stairs, and manipulates objects with human-like dexterity. Toyota and Boston Dynamics are collaborating on general-purpose robots that can fold clothes, sort packages, and perform complex movements that require human-level coordination. These aren't industrial arms bolted to factory floors. These are humanoid robots with legs, arms, and hands that can navigate human environments. They can climb, stairs, open doors, and manipulate objects designed for human hands. They work in spaces built for humans, using tools designed for humans. We're watching the birth of a new workforce, one that never sleeps, never complains, never takes breaks, and never stops working. The line between human and machine labor is disappearing. In five years, seeing a humanoid robot stocking shelves will be as normal as seeing a forklift. The implications are staggering. Every job that involves physical manipulation is now potentially automatable. And while robots replace workers, America is transforming its energy foundation.